yeah. a lot of the best yeah. actors are like I feel like an athlete. Yes. Or best performers because discipline is confidence, bro. There's no way around it. You can mm. fake you can fake confidence That's a, bar a little right bit. There. It is. No, my boy just I just had a great conversation with one of my buddies, another artist named Ryan Ellis and mm -hmm. he's grinding. He's actually from my hometown and he's like he's now I think he's like nominated for best new artist in the Christian music oh, market nice. or whatever. Yeah. He's killing it though. But you know, I was calling him and you know, you go through ups and downs as you get older and you know, you have wins and losses. We're going to get into some of that here. Stan. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like, you know, I was on a low and I was like, man, like I don't yeah. feel as confident. And he's just like, and it is, it's, it's that discipline. I can, I can only fake it for so long. If I don't put the fucking work in, bro, I can't lie for too long. So give me the bar again. Discipline is discipline is confidence, bro. That's creates discipline confidence. Discipline is confidence. It is. There's yeah. no way around that. There's no way around that. You can do it for a little while, but if you don't put that actual work in on whatever you're doing, um, it, it, it's not going to be as good, for one. And then for two, you're bullshitting. And That's I real. think it's That's for real. what? If you love it, for what? That's real. Like, why would you not put the work in? Oh, uh. Because it's tough, but you got to do it. And so, yes. Now, now let's talk about like when you have to draw on some of that confidence, like it's a 401k account or something like that. So when people get told no or you get doors shut in your face which we've all had mm -hmm. and everybody who's like wildly successful has had doors shut in their face which always that still blows my mind low key like you've seen the genius documentary with kanye like yes you bro. know what i mean it's it's crazy like she's like yeah yeah that one chick in the office you remember that scene she's like yeah turn, i gotta get back to my work like she just yes bro. And he was playing <laughs> yeah. like a banger song that no. was a, like that was that yeah. that that documentary because Kanye's got a lot. There's a lot going on with that. I right mean, now. right now it's odd timing for but, us to be, but you know. But that that documentary was like a like a bible for me for a second. Yes, it, it was like, man, dude, like even this cat, got even this on. cat got, got slept, slept on. on. Yeah. And like, I think sometimes the most talented people get overlooked. It's almost too much. Break that down for me. I don't like. I like, don't like, understand okay. it myself. Okay. <laughs> 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 Hold on. So so we've had uh, Tyler Creators manager on a podcast, yeah. right? And he was like, he's like the reason why that happens according to his opinion is because people don't get shit that's a little bit different mm -hmm. if it's different they don't get it and it takes them a minute to catch up to it mm -hmm. so we were talking actually about uh like uh tyler's on shit tyler's a great example of that right like i mean the man's won multiple grammys now 10 years later or how long has he been building mm -hmm. but like it's crazy this dude with this deep raspy voice you yes, know could bro. go on to be a successful solo artist bro yes bro and yeah. he kills it bro yeah. he's just so creative bro he to me he's like obviously a musical artist but he's just an artist bro like, yeah all around and just, he must have yeah. i mean from what i've seen he just he, i think it, again man it's it's your personality your demeanor your energy yeah. will fuck up a room bro and it, like i feel like he's got that you know it's like that's that confidence though that probably comes from some form of discipline for him for sure yeah but he also just you also some people you just gotta you gotta go for it bro you gotta put your heart out there and just go all in i feel like he goes in he trusts himself for sure and that shit's not easy to do when no. you're like not sure <laughs> no you know? well, you're supposed already... to just know you know but man yeah, one of the one of the awarenesses I had recently too was about like when we have a new idea for something, it's just starting out, it's a little wobbly, the idea. Oh, yeah. So if you go share that with another person and they're not gonna like and let's just say they inject a little bit of doubt, well that shit's already wobbly. That shit's gonna tip over. <laughs> oh, Stan. Exactly, exactly, bro. Exactly. Yeah, so that's a hard that's a hard one. I think you keep mm. your your best ideas close to you for a little while and you mm. you tinker with them, you develop them. So and then also when you when you I think the way something that I was doing when I was younger that I didn't realize was I knew that I could do something cool for just enough time to p keep people interested. But I didn't really like like the Kanye stuff. I didn't really like throw like shove it down people's throats. I didn't like throw it in their face for too long. I was like, oh, they like it. I don't want to do too much. Mm. And that was me. That's a that's a, you know, a, mm. a mechanism to not fully commit, basically. Yeah. So you have to fully commit and like be proud of the shit that you do and like run it. Like I'll post some night for a long, for the longest time, you know, I'll post a song once and be like, oh, I didn't get as much love. And it's just like, well, post that shit a thousand times. You know, you know how many people are scrolling and moving. It's like I had this crazy shit the other day. I was kind of like searching for inspiration. Oh, yeah. uh, so I was looking at other artists and I was looking at other things and I like remembered. I was like, oh, man, I started doing reels in 2015 like mm. I love you know regular regularly regularly so I go and I was like I was trying to remember a song I had made you know like five years prior and I go down my own my own feed bro and I like look at these videos I made when I was like you know 23 24 25 with Don Raj it was actually when it, mm. he was one of those cats that he made me feel like 
um, we were artists more than I was just a singer. He's like, no, let's take pictures. Let's like shoot content. Let's make like, and it was so cool. And I went down this rabbit hole of myself, bro. And I like Love re-inspired that. myself with a younger me. Yeah. That was more, I was like, damn, that shit was great back then. Shout it was, out it was so, again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so cool. Um, and it kind of like, it brought me back to life. It was like, bro, you were doing that, you know? Cause you, again, you go through life. I went, I went through a heartbreak, you yeah. know, going through different deals, distribution deals and failures within that. And, you know, uh, kind of just, you, you lose steam sometimes when you're doing stuff for so long. Wow. Um, and it not getting recognized the way you want. And it's like, we, the homie was just saying like the, when you feel the most tired and you feel like you're right at the end, that's when that shit's right there. It's that image with the people digging for diamonds. Diamonds, bro. That, and right? just it's turn, like right there. Exactly, turns the fuck around. Exactly, bro. And yeah. that's that you can't take your foot off the gas, man. Yeah. And cause I, yeah, it's a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Cause I feel like eventually when that, when that tipping point happens, like there's still going to be work, obviously, like you're still grinding, but it's grinding from a different place. Like some, one of my homies who was on the podcast, who managed just like a, a hit songwriter, they, their careers both took off. And he was like, when, when that happened and the tipping point came for him, he goes, I was able to shed my desperate energy. Mm. I just love that as a bar because when you're worried about paying the rent and when it's almost like, how could you not be a little affected by that and like yes. feel like you're grasping at shit, you mm-hmm. know, and have, you know, you, so yes. I just love that level of honesty, bro. It's like shit can get really <sighs> hard and, and scary at times, bro. Oh, I yeah, love man. that though. Shedding yeah. the desperate energy. Sh- he goes, my desperate energy was shed. I was like, that's a Damn. fucking bar, bro. <laughs> yeah. Cause the desperation is yeah. real, especially yeah. with money, especially with money. Yeah. In there. And especially with years put in. Yeah. Like, how could you not, you'd have to be a, sociopath or something so, and not yeah, yeah bro I have some feelings of fuck well you know? and <laughs> fuck, <right. laughs> yeah. well and you know i got to a point i think when i was around 25 or 26 where i was doing a lot of side hustles like bartending serving like it, you know i had to make money right yeah and honestly at those times i was making more money than almost what i'm do now but i i told myself yo you're only gonna make money off music and mm. It was a it was a choice to kind of just light the fire in me. So meaning, again. If, you, if I have to struggle for a period, I'm willing to struggle for a to. period you have to. because it's like because yeah. at the end of the day, it's like yeah. you know those jobs weren't servicing my purpose, you yeah. know. And I learned a lot, and I got what I needed from them. But you know, when you have you know those that desperate energy and and mm. depression and anxiety and and you know shit's not going the way you want, and then you're working at a bar, yeah, motherfucker, I'm gonna drink, and then it's just like then you you miss a whole day the next day, and yeah. that becomes a cycle. Your friends become that. You always got cash. Let's go out after work. We work so hard. It's like no, I got to get up early and and shoot and work on this music or whatever. And that that was a that was a hard transition, but and still something I deal with. But now you know today i gotta go write two songs and and get this bread you know what i mean Amazing. and at least i'm doing something within that craft so it's a hustle bro we're hustling <laughs> we're hustling always still hustling but i love it but that shit kind of like like we're having this conversation right here right like this shit fills my soul bro i love i love you know fucking having these real ass conversations about what it's really like yes because not enough people are like you know let's let's be real like it's hard to get people to open up sometimes about that oh yeah you know and i think you know the music business particularly is a business that's built on a lot of facade and what it an ego mm-hmm. and like it, but then it's those artists that are like real vulnerable and shit that end up breaking through mm-hmm. like i just think I, one of the most extreme examples even though it's a little dated right now is like eminem's eight mile where he's like i did grow up in a trailer park mm-hmm. i did you know yes. what i'm saying like yes. it's like most vulnerable and that was most that was one of the most powerful moments in the whole movie, right? When when he did that, probably. Yes. So oh, we're, we're, cool... we're 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 attracted to that shit. I think. Absolutely. Yeah yeah. 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 Honesty, man. Honesty is chill, bro. Vulnerability is chill. Like. Yeah. It's but, people can relate to it the most. For sure, but it does take courage in an arena where that's not the norm. It takes some balls and some courage to be able to do that. But it's also what everybody's thirsty to hear, too. It's, so I'm just every, like, it's let's such go, a weird, bro. yeah. The it's whole so weird. society's got it all twisted in some ways. Yeah. It's just like, man, be like, yeah. Be, and that, I, something I always thought was funny was working with different managers or, or you know, producers, like, be authentic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, when you don't know, when you're in your early 20s, when you don't know what that means, like, or how to, like, facilitate that within yourself, yeah. It's really just fucking letting go, bro, and, like, not being anything like you just being yourself kind of just loving yourself mm. which is which is difficult at times i recently mm. was hanging out with a friend and i i was like uh i was like i walked into her bathroom or whatever and she has a little picture of herself as a baby right mm. there 
And uh, I was just like, why do you have this baby picture right here? And she's like, every morning when I wake up and I like start going through all these like negative, like you're a piece of shit, whatever thoughts that we go through sometimes, especially as artists. She's like, I look at this little this little version of me. That's me still. You're still that. You know what I mean? So I did it. Now I do it. So now when I wake up and there's negative thoughts or anything that's just like got me not feeling like I can be myself or I have to put up a guard or I'm jaded or all the shit that I beat myself up for. That's just me growing up, bro. Like, you're this sweet, innocent thing trying to figure shit out. And it's fucking okay, bro. Just be yourself. Like, that's it. That, that's a podcast clip right there. <laughs> I'm just going to go around here and say that, bro. Uh, it's, it's, that's it's doing at least 28,000 on TikTok right there, bro. <laughs> it's a real thing. I don't know where she got it from, but I, I love that, man. And I love finding those tricks in life because you got to pull yourself out of this fucking whirlwind of competition. Man, and, that's and so real. And shit. That's lot. so real.